What keeps America's enemies awake at night? Is it the sight of stealth bombers streaking across the sky or nuclear submarines lurking beneath the waves? Perhaps it's something else entirely. The sleek deadly destroyers slicing through the oceans, bristling with cutting-edge technology and unmatched firepower. These warships are more than just vessels. They are the U.S. Navy's first responders, guardians of freedom and instruments of deterrence. But with rising global tensions, the rapid growth of China's Navy, and the onset of advanced technologies like drones and hypersonic missiles, how will the U.S. Navy's destroyers adapt? What role will they play in 2025 and beyond? Today, we're taking a deep dive into the fascinating history, state-of-the-art capabilities, and bold future of U.S. destroyers. In the late 19th century, the advent of torpedo boats, small fast vessels armed with torpedoes capable of crippling battleships, forced navies to rethink their strategies. The answer was the torpedo boat destroyer, a new class of ship designed to counter these threats. These early destroyers were small, agile, and equipped with guns and torpedoes, combining speed with firepower. During World War I, destroyers proved their worth. They protected fleets from submarines, escorted convoys across the Atlantic, and even laid mines. Equipped with early sonar systems and depth charges, they became the first line of defense against the German U-boat threat. By the time of World War II, destroyers had evolved into versatile warships capable of performing a wide range of missions. Convoy escort essential for protecting supply lines, destroyers escorted merchant ships across dangerous waters, fending off submarines and surface raiders. Anti-submarine warfare. With sonar systems and depth charges, they hunted enemy submarines, ensuring Allied dominance in the Atlantic. Fire support. In the Pacific, destroyers provided critical artillery support during amphibious landings, bombarding enemy positions to pave the way for troops. Picket ships. Positioned at the fleet's perimeter, destroyers served as early warning systems, detecting incoming aircraft and often sacrificing themselves to protect larger ships. Famous examples of destroyer bravery include their roles in the Battle of Midway and the Battle of Lady Gulf, where their speed and maneuverability were key in countering larger enemy fleets. Their versatility proved indispensable, shaping naval tactics for decades to come. After World War II, destroyers underwent a transformation. The advent of guided missiles allowed these ships to engage threats at much greater distances, elevating their role from escorts to standalone combat platforms. Cold War missions, countering Soviet submarines, supporting carrier strike groups, defending against potential missile attacks, the introduction of the Aegis combat system in the 1980s was a game-changer. This advanced radar and missile control system enabled destroyers to track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, cementing their role in modern naval warfare. The Arleigh Burke-class destroyer, first commissioned in 1991, remains the backbone of the U.S. Navy. Over 70 of these ships are currently in service, with new variants continuing to be built. Specifications? Length, 509 feet. Speed, 30 plus knots. Displacement, 9,700 tons. Weaponry, vertical launch system, or VLS. Capable of firing everything from Tomahawk cruise missiles to anti-submarine torpedoes. Aegis Combat System, provides unmatched situational awareness and targeting precision. Close-in weapon systems, or CIWS for last-ditch defense against missiles and aircraft. Arleigh Burke destroyers are deployed worldwide, conducting freedom of navigation operations, missile defense, and joint exercises with allies. Their presence is a deterrent against adversaries like China, Russia, and North Korea. The Zumwalt-class destroyer, with its stealthy design and advanced technology, was envisioned as the future of naval warfare. Although only three were built due to cost and complexity, they represent a step forward in innovation. Stealth Features The Zemwalt's radar signature is comparable to a small fishing boat. Power Systems Capable of generating enough electricity to support directed energy weapons and railguns. Advanced Gun System, or AGS, designed for long-range precision strikes, though plagued by challenges. By 2025, the U.S. Navy is expected to operate around 80 destroyers, primarily Arleigh Burke-class ships. 
these vessels will remain critical for missile defense. Equipped with Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense, or BMD, systems, destroyers can intercept threats ranging from short-range missiles to intercontinental ballistic missiles. Regional Deterrence In hotspots like the South China Sea and the Arctic, destroyers will project power and reassure allies. Integrated Operations Paired with drones and unmanned surface vessels, destroyers will act as command hubs in distributed naval formations. The integration of laser weapons offers immense potential. Unlimited ammo. Lasers can fire continuously as long as power is available. Cost effectiveness. Each shot costs only a few dollars in electricity. Versatility. Capable of intercepting missiles, drones, and small boats. Railguns and hypersonic missiles. Railguns, which use electromagnetic forces to fire projectiles at hypersonic speeds, could revolutionize naval combat. Similarly, the deployment of hypersonic missiles will enhance destroyers' offensive capabilities. Autonomous systems, unmanned drones, and submarines will complement destroyers, extending their reach and enhancing their capabilities. These systems will handle reconnaissance, mine detection, and even offensive operations, reducing risks to human crews. While technology is crucial, the heart of any destroyer is its crew. These highly trained sailors operate complex systems, respond to crises, and ensure that destroyers remain versatile and reliable in any situation. From humanitarian missions to combat operations, their professionalism and dedication are what truly make destroyers the backbone of the U.S. Navy. In an era of rising tensions and rapid technological change, destroyers remain a cornerstone of U.S. naval strategy. Their adaptability, advanced technology, and global presence ensure that they will continue to dominate the seas in 2025 and beyond. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. Whether defending freedom of navigation, countering adversaries, or pioneering new technologies, the U.S. Navy's destroyers will remain a symbol of strength and innovation. What do you think about the future of U.S. Navy destroyers? Will their adaptability keep them at the forefront of naval warfare, or will new challenges require even greater innovation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Here's a challenge. Imagine the destroyer of 2050. What technologies would you include? Share your vision and let's discuss the future of naval power.